All right, so Valentina Shevchenko back on the proven ground here tonight. You gotta think some of these super fights are gonna materialize at this stage of her career. Perhaps a trilogy with Amanda Nunes, potentially a title defense against Zhang Wei Li. But make no mistake about it, at 125 pounds, she has distanced herself from the pack. Yes, there is a lot out there for Valentina. Super fights are on the horizon, but the only time that those present themselves is whenever you have really dominated the division that you fight in. Valentina has done that. She has beaten everyone, and she has dominated most of them. So let's see if tonight she can once again get her hand raised and look to some of those things that are out there for her to accomplish. Seven title defenses and counting for Shevchenko. She moved down to 125 pounds back in 2017, and needless to say, she has not looked back. So here is the otherworldly elite flyweight out of Guadalajara, Mexico, Alexa Grasso. And it's interesting to look back to early portions of her UFC career. After the Carla Esparza loss in 2019, she had lost three of five, and nobody envisioned her as a future UFC champion, but she has stayed committed to the cause every step of the way. Her grappling improvement has been unbelievable. She's always been an outstanding boxer, but she has honed that, of course, under her uncle Francisco Grasso. This is one of the very best flyweights in the world. She is as committed to the cause as any man or woman in the world. I'm excited to see what she can do with this showcase here tonight. Well, so much UFC history has played out here at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Plenty more where that came from tonight. The athletes are ready to go. All right, let's get to the tail of the tape for this flyweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions. We go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. first fighting out of the blue corner presenting the challenger Valentina Bullet Shevchenko and now introducing the champion fighting out of the red corner presenting the reigning defending undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world Alexa Grasso! Herb Dean, our third man Ready. in the octagon for this Ready. one. Do it. All right, so here's Alexa Grasso, one of the best fighters in this flyweight division. Came into the UFC primarily as a boxer, but the grappling evolution has truly been a sight to behold. And now it has gotten to a point in terms of the well-roundedness for Alexa Grasso. There is no safe area in mixed martial arts. We'll see if she mixes in the takedowns here tonight. All right, there's that leg kick she told us in the fighter meeting. Those would be on the menu, and she goes to it early in this week. Well, she understands that the boxer has a wide split stance because she wants to get forward with the jab. But every time she throws the jab, she opens herself up to the leg kick, and she has taken advantage of that. Oh, she lands a huge inside leg kick. Takedown defense holds up. Big shots being landed on both sides here. What a tricky head kick. These women are delivering for fight fans around the world. What a start to this fight. How could you possibly be seated when you are watching this level of activity between two women at the beginning of the fight? Relax, relax. One, two there by Grosso. Man, her jab is so powerful. She doesn't need to throw a full force. She's certainly keeping her opponent at bay here tonight. Yeah, she doesn't wind up. She doesn't load up. She just kind of lets it fly. And she has multiple jabs. Well, one is hard. One is short. She's such a high-level boxer that she can beat you up with just a jab. Is that a huge strike right there? Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Big knee. Lands a big elbow there. 
Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Oh, good work with the knees here by Shevchenko. And now some knees. Immediately gets the underhook. Man, one knee after the next by her tonight. She certainly got that part of her game look. It's such a damaging strike for her to land this many knees. It's insane. Nice punch there by Grosso. She got that single collar tie. Grosso's cut, folks. Nasty cut on her lip just opened up. Massive body kick lands. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swing and a miss by Valentina Shevchenko. 45 seconds remain in the round. Defense held up there as she blocks that shot. Nice crack there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And there's the double leg takedown. Round one winding down here. Oh, postures up and lands a huge head strike there. Nicely done by Shevchenko. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Heading back to the corner after that round. All right, big moment in that previous round. We're going to get you some replays. Not exactly sure. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other. Oh, look at the inside leg kick. She rounds her now. She hurt her very badly with that big leg kick. Oh! Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Grosso. She got that single combo. Inside leg kick is there. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is. Oh, you gotta keep pressing here. Could be the beginning of the end. Oh, big left hand. Oh, nice right hand. Oh! Shevchenko's really limping heavily now. The leg kicks have started to pile up. Clearly, they're having the desired effect. So we hit the three-minute mark here in the second round. She has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Grosso's limping. That would suggest that the leg kick is having the desired effect. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Well, hard to see exactly where she is cut, but it's somewhere around that eye area. It doesn't look great. It's never good to get cut, but right now it's a small one. You don't have to worry about it, but you got to protect it. Well, you know she can do it all in the octagon tonight. She is largely a striker, and man, has she had it going really from the opening day. From the start of the fight, you could see that she was different tonight. You could see that she was going to lean on the cardio, set a high pace, and hope that her opponent could not keep up. But not only is she fighting hard, she is landing just about everything that she throws. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, another beautiful kick to the thigh. She has attacked that area to great effect here tonight. She said that was in the game plan. Let's work every part of the body. Right now, the target is the thigh. Lower the curtain. Bring the cast out. Bring the cast out. You take the foul. The night's over. All right, so there's the horn indicating the end of the round, but not before damage was done. She was cut on her cheek from the strike in that round, and now the focus for the cut man shutting that thing and making sure it doesn't become a factor here moving forward. All right, the fighters hit the stools for 60. You ready to fight? Ready. 
Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now moving forward. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. That one out as she blocks the kick. Well, this is one of the more active rounds we have seen all night long. Both of these women have realized success with the striking and both seem damaged. It's always fun when you get a fight like this, where you see the blood on both sides, where you see the swelling on both sides, where you see the concern from both fighters recognizing that, wow, I've got my equal in front of me. Let's see who can push through and get the victory. The fighter blocks the punch. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Nice jab by Grosso. Well, I think if I was a fighter, I'd probably be a headhunter, but she is not that, right? She's invested in the body. And if I had a strike by her there, I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing. But she got to get out to the city of the Find some space so she can evade her opponent from finishing her. Beautiful. Mm, nice. All right, full guard here if you're the bottom fighter. Trying to prevent the half guard, I would assume. Yes, absolutely. Trying to keep her in full guard. Throw up some submissions to get back to your feet. Well, her body language is all right at this stage of the fight, but man, the bruising on that thigh is a sight to behold. She hasn't made the requisite adjustment, obviously, time. She hasn't made the changes necessary. She should have switched her stance earlier. She should have check kicked early. Now, she's gonna have to rely on the toughness to keep her upright and try to land something that gives herself a chance. Well, in the clinch, but she's staying active. Beautiful punch to the head there. Well, I hope the judges recognize that she's blocking the majority of these shots. She's doing a beautiful job, I think, defensively. She's doing a great job defensively. Oh, nice double leg, yes. She's got her back now, DC, and I don't mean she's like there to support her, right? She is literally on her back and in control of this fight. She's in control of this fight. Look for her to start trying to slide that arm under the neck to finish the fight with a chill. She does a great job breaking that clutch position. Grosso going for the takedown here, nothing doing there. Oh, nice takedown defense. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. Body kick right there, landed perfect. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. It got checked. Looping left hand misses the target. Oh, how clean is that? Nice strike. Well, she went to the straight left, unable to connect them. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown here? Well, she lands another strike to the body here, and the percentage. Oh! Oh! She's able to get up, but she is officially on wobbly legs. Oh! Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Big elbow there, Lance. 
beautiful knee. Big head kick. I've never seen anything like this, J.A. How in the world are these two women still standing? She's looking to land that right punch just out of range. Oh, Superman punch. She applying a lot of pressure here. I'm not sure how much her opponent can take. Clear sense of urgency here as she tries to make sure the judges stay out of it. Shevchenko's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Just a beautiful shot by her there to end the fight. I'm not sure she could have drawn it up any better than it played out here tonight. She lands the seminal blow there midway through the round. I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming. So big, big knockout win for her here tonight. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 30 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed USC flyweight champion of the world, Valentina Bullock Shashenko. Well, man, is Valentina Bullock Shevchenko fun to watch when she is on as she was here tonight. This is a fighter who has been mixing the martial arts for a long time now, way before it was in vogue. And, of course, the results speak for themselves. Congratulations to Valentina Shevchenko.